everyone. Welcome to Monday Night Praise and Worship. Just give me a moment here. Thank you for joining. Forgive me. I'm balancing the technical work. I'm trying to check an eye on the audio. Hi, Joanna. Hi, Patty. Thank you for joining. I also see, I believe, Anita. Thank you for joining. Tim, if you can tell me how the audio sounds, that would be great. Does the keyboard need to be turned up? Or is it fine the way it is? Thank you for your help. You're like my online tech team. great amen thank you so much all right so tonight is going to be a little bit different than what I normally do normally I don't play the keyboard using the synthesizer but I need to give my throat a little bit of a rest tonight so I need 
to play songs that are soft and gentle that I can get through. But before we start worshiping, we're going to pray, but I want to do a little bit of a teaching about the power of praise and worship, which is another reason I like to use the synth pad, because then I can look at you, I can communicate with you, and I don't have to look down at my fingers. So let's pray. Father, I thank you for tonight. I thank you, Lord, for each and every one that you have drawn unto yourself through this video in the name of Jesus. Let your name be magnified and glorified tonight, Jesus. Have your way in each and every one. Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Touch each and every person watching. Draw your people by the power of your spirit in the name of Jesus. Let your will be done in their lives tonight. Speak to them, Holy Spirit. Let your name be glorified and magnified tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. I surrender and I submit myself to you as a vessel for your use. Holy Spirit, have your way. Jesus. Amen. Okay, so let's talk a little bit of what the Bible says about praise and worship music, about worship music. Before we touch on the power of worship music, let's touch on the power of music in general. This past weekend, somebody had messaged me that they were listening to a song and it was pulling on their emotions, like on their heartstrings. And I was brought back to a time when I was younger and I was going through some hurt. And there were songs that I would play and they would immediately invoke. tears for me it would just it would just be enough to to invoke my emotions so music has so much power if you can think back to again maybe when you were a teenager maybe there was a song that you were dancing to um, you know when you were in the world say in a club you hear that song again now even though you're not living that lifestyle but immediately you're brought back to that lifestyle you're brought back to that moment in time just by one song I use that as an example but there are many others I mean there's songs that will bring you back immediately to where you were at that point in time in your past music has so much power we know who the ruler of this world is, so we all know the influence and the control of worldly music. If worldly music, there's, there's a transaction that goes on with music. There's like a spiritual transaction that goes on. When you're submitted and surrendered to that song, there's like a spiritual transaction that's going on. So if it's not worship or godly music, then it's a transaction with the kingdom of darkness. Um, there have been people who have, you know, just listened to the lyrics of songs, listen to the darkness of some of the the words and you know what the people are singing about and it has caused some youth even to take their lives and to commit suicide so now on the flip side because the enemy is a liar but he also likes to duplicate and replicate and copy the Lord God Almighty but his plan is to steal kill and destroy but God's plan was to redeem his people and to bring life and life abundantly so let's talk now about the power of praise and worship. Let 
me take you to scripture. Sorry, I have to turn my head. Here it is. All right. Let me just keep that playing. Okay, so in in uh, First Samuel, hi Foster, hi Sharon, thank you so much for joining. I pray that you are touched and blessed tonight in the name of Jesus. Let the Holy Spirit touch you tonight in Jesus' name. So we're just talking a little bit about praise and worship before I, I worship. It's a bit of a different flow tonight um, because I'm trying not to uh, put too much strain on my voice, on my throat. So 1 Samuel 16, a distressing spirit troubles Saul. If you've been following me since I've done my lives, I have shared this. Um, but again, if it's just a, a great reminder. The spirit of the Lord departed from Saul. Saul was a king and the spirit of the Lord departed from him. And Saul's servants said, uh, it says that a spirit from the Lord troubled him. So there was a spirit that troubled the king. So they sent forth to find somebody who was skillful in playing the harp. And that when this person would play the harp, the distressing spirit from God that was upon the king would depart. And so they found David. And every time David would play for King Saul, the spirit from God that was upon Saul, David would take a harp and play it with his hand. Then Saul would become refreshed and well, and the distressing spirit would depart from him. So here we're seeing in scripture that praise and worship music, it has the power to deliver from, from wicked spirits, from bondages, from depression, from anxiety. A lot of this stuff, it starts in the spirit and it manifests in the natural. And so... These are spiritual beginnings that just manifest in our flesh. And when we enter into praise and worship, it is eliminated in the name of Jesus. Now, the other thing I want to share with you is this other verse. Um, before I do that, let me share with you just some practical <coughs> excuse me, experiences with Christian music let's say worship music I heard a story before about somebody who went to babysit at this person's house and this person said don't turn this music off they had a, a Christian CD playing on repeat because when you do they come back they meaning tormenting spirits, evil spirits. And so the babysitter who was a Christian did not turn it off, but it was just a testimony of the power of music in this woman's life. Um, there's another time I gave somebody a CD. They were dealing with something in their house and I said, put it on repeat, keep it on repeat in this area of the house. And he later testified to not having that feeling in his house anymore, not having that presence in his house anymore. Um, the other story I'd like to share with you is uh, there was a time that I was ministering to somebody just like this, but one-on-one. -on -one. <coughs> Excuse me. I was ministering one-on-one. -on -one evil spirits started manifesting and all I was doing was worshiping <coughs> forgive me it's powerful right that's powerful <coughs> now if Tim's online still which I think he is I'm sure he could share some examples and testimonies of how music influenced him and his life amen there he is uh, there's so much power there's so much power so much power 
Uh, so let me go on and just give a little more scriptures. And then I'll worship as much as I can. <laughs> so as I said, when you worship, it's like a spiritual transaction. So for me personally, I've always loved worshiping the Lord. Um, one of the reasons I loved it so much is not only do I, do I obviously I love the Lord, but I would feel His presence come upon me heavy. And no matter what season of life I was in, no matter what I was going through, be it good times or bad, um, I've been through a lot of lows, a lot of hurts, and it didn't stop me from worshiping and praising because that's the only thing in those like dark moments that seemed to um, edify and and help me to feel God's presence. I knew He was there, and I knew what His plans were. He knows the beginning from the end. I shouldn't say I know what His plans were. I know His plans for me are good. And so when I was going through those times of deep pain, I would get on my knees and I would I would say, Lord, you know the beginning from the end. And either you've allowed this or the enemy, you know, has just come in to cause a ruckus. But regardless, I'm gonna praise you. <coughs> Excuse me. And so I would get on my knees at the foot of my bed and I would raise my hands and I would worship and I would worship and I would worship and I would worship and the Lord would speak to me. I would feel his presence come in my room. He would speak to me. He would calm my heart. He would calm the, my anxieties. Oh, it was such a beautiful time. Hi, Rhonda. Thank you for joining. So worship to me has always been a kind of lifestyle because I, I always like to be in the presence of the Lord. I always like to feel that peace and that that like blanket. I, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to put it into words, but I'm always worshiping. I'm always singing in my spirit. As a matter of fact, scripture says, um, scripture says in Ephesians, address one another, <coughs> excuse me, in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody to the Lord with your heart. So I'm always singing to him, even in my spirit, in my mind, in my heart. I'm not always singing out loud. But even in my mind, I'll wake up and they'll, I'll be singing unto him in my spirit. And uh, anyway, I don't want to talk too much. I've already been talking for about half an hour. But let me share these scripture verses with you. It's like when you're always communing with him, when you're always worshiping him, <coughs> you're allowing his presence to constantly dwell in your midst. So in 1 Chronicles chapter 6, there were musicians in the house of the Lord. Hi, Jenny Jane. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining. I pray you are touched and blessed in the name of Jesus. There were musicians in the house of the Lord. Now, these are the men who David appointed over the service of the song in the house of the Lord. And after the ark came to rest, they were ministering with music before the dwelling place of the tabernacle of meeting. Music ministers. Music ministers. It's very powerful. It's very powerful. <clears throat> First Chronicles 25 talks about the musicians. And musicians prophesy. Isn't that cool? In the Old Testament we see the sons of Asaph and Heman and of Jeduthun, who should prophesy with harps, stringed instruments, and cymbals. And it goes on. <clears throat> and then when you look at the book of Psalms, these are written, a lot of them written by David. And it's about praise and worship, praise and worship, praise and worship, praise and worship. And <coughs> oh Lord, help me. <coughs> I thought I was.
would be fine to come on tonight. So let's sing unto the Lord. Let's get into his presence. I pray in the name of Jesus that as we worship tonight, his presence just comes upon you, that you feel his blanket of peace. You feel his manifest presence in the name of Jesus. Let every tormenting spirit that is tormenting you tonight flee in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the hand of the living God be mighty upon you in the name of Jesus. Yes, you Yes, you Ooh. 
worship you, Yeshua, Yeshua. Yes, and my Yeshua, let your name be glorified and magnified, Jesus.
Thank you for joining. Amen. I pray you are touched and blessed tonight in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Anybody who's online, if you haven't seen what I have shared on my page about Tiffany and her family and their ministry and what they are doing currently for the Lord, please go on and check it out. Truly, you will be touched and you will be blessed by the testimony. Jesus. So we're doing things a little bit different tonight, Tiffany. I was trying to spare my voice a little bit. So I'm playing the keyboard differently than I normally would. Oh, mm-hmm. 
Jesus, we worship you. Oh, we love you. Isn't the presence of the Lord beautiful? Oh, I love your presence, Jesus. there is liberty in the name of Jesus where the spirit of the Lord is there is freedom may you saturate yourself now in his presence for the spirit of the Lord is here in the name of Jesus may you experience liberty now in the name of Jesus may you experience freedom now in the name of Jesus Freedom in the name of Jesus. Freedom in the name of Jesus. Freedom in the name of Jesus. Freedom from anxiety in the name of Jesus. Freedom from anxiety in the name of Jesus. Freedom from addiction in the name of Jesus. Freedom from addiction in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. 
Father, your word says that angels encamp round about those who fear your name. That your angels are sent forth as ministering spirits to minister unto those who will inherit salvation. Let your angels, your ministering spirits, encamp round about your people now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, may their enemies flee seven ways in the mighty name of Jesus, my Father. Set your people free in the name of Jesus. I want you now to just tell the Lord what it is that you're battling with and tell him, Lord, I don't want it. Take it from me now in the name of Jesus. Take it from me now in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, for the Spirit of the Lord is here to liberate. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Whatever it is, tell him, Father, I don't want it. Lord, I don't want it. Take it from me now in the name of Jesus. Take it from me now in the name of Jesus. Take it from me now in the name of Jesus. Take it from me now in the name of Jesus. His hand is not too short to save. His hand is not too short to deliver in the name of Jesus. Only believe and it shall be done unto you in the name of Jesus. Only believe and it shall be done unto you in the name of Jesus. Freedom is yours tonight in the name of Jesus. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Receive your freedom tonight in the name of Jesus. Receive your freedom tonight in the name of Jesus. All chains are broken in his presence. is contemplating right now throwing something away I don't know if it's paraphernalia or if it's marijuana or if it's smoking or vaping whatever you're contemplating should I throw it away the spirit of the Lord and the presence of the Lord God Almighty is touching you now in the name of Jesus Spirit of the Lord is touching you now in the name of Jesus. The Spirit of the Lord is touching you now in the name of Jesus. The Spirit of the Lord is touching you now in the name of Jesus. Oh Jesus, Jesus. Ia katana maya shatia darabaya. Ia 
Diadarabaye, Samaye, Diadarabaye, Shamaya Gadarabaya. Iadarabaye, Shabaya Tarabaye, Samaya Katarabaye, Shatusa. Iadarabaye, Shamaya Katarabaye, Shabaya Katarabaya. Iadarabaye, Samaye, Diadarabaye, Shamaya Katarabaye, Shabaya Katarabaya. And I see him removing. See him removing that that addiction from your body, that craving from your body. I see him removing that now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, we thank you, my Father. We thank you, my Father. Oh, we thank you, my Father. We thank you. Oh, we thank you, Spirit of the Living God. We thank you, Spirit of the Living God. We thank you, Spirit of the Living God. For nothing is too hard for you. Nothing is too hard for you. Only believe in me. Only believe and it shall be done unto you. Only believe and it shall be done unto you in the name of Jesus. Jehovah means God. And there's 
variations. There's Jehovah Rapha, the Lord our healer. There's Jehovah. Adonai, our sovereign Lord. El Shaddai, our all-sufficient God. That's a beautiful provide a sacrifice Jehovah Rapha the Lord that healeth thee Jehovah Shama the Lord is present Jehovah Shalom the Lord is our peace Jehovah Nisi the Lord our banner Jehovah Ra the Lord my shepherd Jehovah I don't want to botch this one but the Lord our righteousness Jesus was being tried and I believe it was Pilate that asked him who he was you know what Jesus said I am I am oh Jesus
We thank you for your presence, Father. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. Let your name be glorified. Thank you, Father, for each and everyone watching. I pray that they have been touched by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. joining tonight I pray that you have been touched by the power of the Holy Spirit that you have felt the presence of the Living God that you were ministered to in the name of Jesus thank you so much for your patience with my voice today I believe in the name of Jesus that as I started and as I started to sing that healing sprung forth in the name of Jesus I thank you father touch your people touch each and everyone watching in the name of Jesus let your name be glorified and magnified tonight in the name of Jesus I will see everybody next Monday at 7 o'clock thank you so much be blessed in Jesus name